let it breathe on me. Let the breath of God now breathe on me. Let it breathe on me. Let it breathe on me. Let breath from God just breathe. On me. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Yeah, I know I've been away for a little while. You know, I've really um, been dealing, well, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, I want to welcome you, and I hope everything is going good for you. I hope that... Um, you know, your family members are safe and sound and you can put your hands on them and they're intact. But there are some in our community that are not that fortunate. Okay? And um, before I get started, you know, I know that we are a people who are have been trained to hate each other, um, kill each other, this is all self-hatred that was taught to us. And saying that allows me to at least understand, not understand, deal with some of y'all who are so cruel and evil that would talk about Sade the way that you have. Um, There are content creators on here who got white wives, white babies, um, and then they have the nerve to talk about white zaddy and what white zaddy did to this young lady. I want to make sure that it's known that Sade was, was, was the best of us. She was the best of us, fam. She was about to get her degree next month in criminal justice. She was contemplating on going to the Air Force, and she had a full life. She's a full human being with a smile that'll light up the damn room. When I think about the times that I've been in Pizza Shuttle, I had to get myself up out of there because they got some good pizza, and I was just putting on way too much weight. But I think about how she graced that place. And how the people love her because she was a good person. That's what we saw, at least. She didn't bring you her problems, and she didn't bring her problems to work. And so when I hear y'all on the Internet talking about that's what she get for being with a white dude, and, you know, we, we going to learn, I'm like, he who is without sin cast the first stone. And how, at 19, how many stupid mistakes have you made? And if you live to get past 19, then obviously you were blessed. But for you to have daughters or sons, be a parent, let alone have a white wife or Mexican, whatever the hell they are. Uh, and for you to speak on this child's life. This teen's life. I know you got a teenage daughter. And you know specific. I'm talking to somebody specifically right about now. I'm talking to, I'm talking to Phil. Okay. Because I don't bite my tongue. I'm talking about Phil. Um, how dare you. Speak like that. About this young lady. Whose family is out here searching for her body parts whose family has found her body parts. 
you just better hope with the daughters you got that you that they never because you don't know what your girls will do. We know our children, or at least we like to think we do. And because they made a mistake, they should pay for their life, and they should be antagonized by people like y'all that don't know this family. If y'all could just walk a mile, not even a mile, uh, a, a quarter, a, a few blocks, in Sheena's place, her mother. And if you could just step into her shoes, in her moccasins, I guarantee you, your comments will be totally different than the ones I'm seeing and hearing on the internet. I had to take a break because we are here still looking for this girl's body. And for those of y'all who don't know, on yesterday, we found a torso and a leg. That's what they found. When I say we, I mean my the, the family, not me. But her torso and her arm was found. And they trying to put her back together again. So they can have a funeral. like Just like Humpty Dumpty. Except worse. So for those. All of you who have. Something negative to say. Y'all really need. Uh, some intervention. And I can't take anything that you say. As far as having love. For kids. Serious. Because at the end of the day. Her brain is, was still growing. She was only 19 years old. And for all I know, for all I know, this man is going to have some more because they went back to his house and researched it again for the second, I believe, or the third time. That's a, a new development. Also, how they put pink. All on the man's house. And somebody waited till the night time. And snatched it all down. Um, what that shows me. Is even though I know. My whole neighborhood has been uprooted. Because of this. Uh, mass murderer. Or crazy deranged. Fuckhead. At least I would be like. Okay. When the people calm down some. You know. I'm sure it's going to be removed. But for whoever went out there and removed all that stuff, you probably are psychotic too. You're an evil person as well because if you were in your right mind, you would understand these people are grieving. They are out, they are out of their they're out of their minds. Like most people are. And that's white and black. This is a horrible story. And all I want to say is for y'all who's making these comments and smart guns, y'all can y'all should just really check yourself. Put yourself in timeout. Put yourself in timeout and get back in touch with, with your feelings. Because right now you don't have any. You're void of love and feelings. You are disassociated with what's human. My prayers go out. Tashina Scarborough. My prayers go out to the friends, the family, as everybody, the father. Somebody said I failed to mention the father. I want to make sure I mention her father. To everybody. I'm so disturbed by this. I I I I don't know if I can uh, really, really did. Uh, stay balanced when it comes to looking at um at, at at men and some men are so fucking crazy and that's why they can make a fucking remark most of them are men that are making remarks like this and I just I, I, I I'm just I pity you fools 
I really do. You know, her, Sheena said this is a modern, this is just like Jeffrey Dahmer. And it's got the whole city on pause, just like Jeffrey Dahmer. And for those of y'all who ain't never been traumatized by nothing like that, somebody eating up your relatives or cutting them up and digesting them or putting them in acid, y'all really shouldn't even make no comments. Because we got some serious shit happening here in Milwaukee. And it takes the family members to go out and find they goddamn body, keep relatives' body parts. And y'all on the internet making jokes. For shits and giggles. Clicks and views. God be with the family. I wish those of y'all under the sound of my voice that are hurt and just as, just as unbalanced as I am right now, let's send a collective prayer for that family, for that mother, and pray that nobody ever have to go through anything as abhorrent as this ever again. Not on our watch. We have to be more vigilant we have to be more concerned for one another. Right after that, yesterday, they found a, girl, a, a, a mother of 10 in the trunk of a car. I mean, I don't know what's happening in Milwaukee. I don't know if it's the water or if it's the oppression. But this is what oppression do to people. Milwaukee is one of the most segregated cities in the United States. People come here and do they, they dirt. And then they get out and go across the viaduct. Or they do shit they know they're going to get away with because ain't nobody going to pay no attention and nobody going to look anyway. Not with as segregated places this is. Nobody going to even care. But we care. There's some of us that care about this black teenager. And we would care about her if she was a white teenager. She's a human being. And I wish you could find it in your heart to understand that and sometimes like my mama used to tell me if you don't got nothing good to say shut your ass up and don't say nothing at all and I'm on that I stand on that and I'm gonna go now if you like what you hear please like subscribe share Share, share the video and pray for us here in Milwaukee y'all pray for us pray for us I'll see you in the next video